What's up my Fina loves, it's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Timia News. Now most of you are aware that Azalea Banks is always in the news as we relate to drama. She's always inserting herself into some drama with other artists and things like that. Now um, Azalea have also admitted you know, to some mental issues so when she's going off on people and having her moment, I've never found it you know, funny because you know, if she's admitting that mentally you know she's not all there then that's not anything to joke with well you know she's gone in on Nicki Minaj before and apologized Iggy Azalea basically anyone that's popping at the moment or just popping period she goes after so Remy was you know doing an interview with Ebro in the morning and because Remy have a new song with Lil' Kim, Wake Me Up, is you know, it's doing great and all of that. So she's making her rounds with different radio stations and promoting the record and all of that. So while she was there, one of the quotes from, uh, from, from an interview, I mean, was, when I came home, it was nothing. It was tumbleweeds blowing through as far as female artists in rap is concerned. Okay, so what Remy meant about this is, before she came out of jail, how many years did Nicki Minaj win the BET Best Female Hip Hop Awards? My point, she won every year. Now yeah, trust me, of course BET was never gonna give it to Iggy, of course, and of course there were other amazing rappers out there doing it, but who was dominating everything. It was Nikki. But you know, I'm not gonna sit here in front. We're not gonna sit here in front, but people want these two to have an issue so bad. You know, Remy is the type of person that I have an issue with you. I addressed it. Now I've moved on, you know? But people just feel like every time she opened her mouth is about Nikki, which is not the case. So basically Remy was just saying before she came out it was always Nikki. Of course, she didn't say her name, but it's the truth. When Remy came out, Remy won that award over Nikki, okay? The next thing you know, I'm not saying Cardi wasn't making music, but Cardi wasn't at the level where she is now. Then Cardi came, and now you see all of these other, you know, female rappers coming up, coming out, and it's like now there's competition. Before it was, yeah, the legends would put out music here and there. New artists would come out here and there, but it was Nikki. Now, yes, Iggy Azalea did come out, and Iggy Azalea have a number one record, and this is no shade, more power to Nikki for everything that she's doing, but Nikki have over 80 songs that have entered the Hot 100, you know, and she still have yet to get a number one song okay and it gets to the point where people are saying is quantity <laughs> over quality you know i'm not saying nikki to make quality music but it's no way you have all of these songs and you still don't have a number one right iggy came out she had you know a number one record and she was nominated for four grammys and all of that i think ram she wasn't throwing a race card in there or, or ignoring Iggy's success and other amazing artists' success. She was just saying, even with Iggy's success and everything that was going on, it was still, all the spotlight was still on Nikki. And now, and then since she came back and she went ahead, she gave people the courage that, listen, man, we are all MCs. We can go out there and we can get it. And basically... Real rap is back. I'm not saying what the other people do is not real rap. But I completely saw and understood where Remy was coming from. She wasn't denouncing anything any other artists have done. She wasn't saying that Nicki wasn't popping. She wasn't saying Iggy wasn't popping. She was just saying all of the plethora, right, <laughs> of different rappers coming out now. It was dead at some point. It was just Nicki. And that's the truth. Okay, so Remy said that in the interview and everybody move on, no big deal, right? Well, of course, slow news day, it's too quiet, no one is calling her name, no one is paying attention to her, her music is not, you know, popping, so hey, let me go ahead and put myself in the press again by doing what? Coming after Remy. So with all of the profanity, and all of the stuff going on, I'm just going to put it on here, let the music play, and let you guys read what Azalea Banks wrote, and then we're going to go ahead and come back and talk about it.
Okay, now if that wasn't enough time, just put the video on pause and keep reading if my voice is gonna, you know, distract you from reading. But anyways, that's what she wrote. And when we get into Ramin Live, and Instagram Live and all of that, all of this would make sense. But that's what Azalea Banks wrote. And Nikki fans are a lot of kids, okay? And these kids are easily influenced. They could care less about you, but as long as, you know, you're rapping and rocking, you know, Nikki, they're on your side. And so Azalea planned this whole thing where, you know, I'm going to apologize to Nikki. I'm going to play this whole game, you know, because Nikki loves control. She wants people to bow down to her, you know, whatever the case might be. So I'm going to play this whole game and I'm going to use her and I'm going to get her fans on my side. I'm going to get them to buy my, you know, my music and support me and all of that. So I'm going to publicly apologize and then start dissing other people and uplifting Nikki and basically becoming a cheerleader for Nikki so when she wrote all of that and oh my gosh it worked Nikki fans were on her page yes Azalea drag da -da -da -da, just going in and we love you we're gonna support you uh, tagging Nikki Nikki you need to like this post we are waiting for collaboration like everything was working in Azalea Banks favor and she was just sitting back home wherever she was sitting and just smiling like gotcha okay now when you send people text messages Remy said this in the interview she said she hold on to everything because with the way how the industry and people work nowadays you never know when you will need it she said that in an interview i think it was on how how 97 us one of those interviews she did when she first came out she said that and that's exactly what she did when you're sending people text messages and things like that don't just assume it got deleted they don't have their phone anymore or that now these <laughs> fans their kids and all of that people are delusional right because remy release all of the text message messages okay all of the messages and communication between her and azalea i'm going to put them on the screen some of them are all over the place some of them are repeated but you know it was just too much to upload them just separately so just take your time and read them but basically remy released all of the text messages between her and azalea banks and most of them it looks like Azalea is having a conversation by herself because Remy is barely responding because Remy knew people warned her and say listen man don't mess with this girl she's bad news she did a b and c to other people but Rem was like listen she didn't do anything bad to me I'm not gonna judge her based on what you guys are telling me I want to get to know her for myself you know so she was very careful um, Azalea kept you know sending her messages about Nikki and her responses were very short nothing to incriminate herself because she knows how the industry work so people were saying oh Rem you're only showing the part with Azalea you're not showing your messages you deleted but Rem was like if I actually went in on Nikki um, I'm not stupid to release text messages as if Azalea can't go pull her phone out and release the things that I wrote and I said you know in return so go ahead and continue to read these messages and all of that and then i'll come back and um talk more about it Okay, so in the Instagram live video that you're going to videos that you're going to see, it was a long live. Okay, um, I'm not going to put all of it in here. And to be honest with you, I got the most important parts of the live because while I was watching the live, I'm all for female empowerment, female unity. Bitches, though, I'm gonna fuck about a bitch. Okay. So for all of y'all 
that are thinking. See, I, I have to get my other phone here. Because I don't want people to think. I don't, I'm in the way. How do I flip this around? I don't want people to think that I'm deleting any of my messages. Like, these are scrollies. Like, we, we need to. Let's get a long one so you can see the times on it. So you can see. How bitch ain't even have time to respond. If she wanted to. Why is this shit so blurry? Hold on. Let me wipe my screen real quick, guys. Let me get my screen clear. Let's see. Can you see the time on here? I'm so fucking mad, babe. I can't get the time clear. Where's the camera? Because y'all, y'all motherfuckers got to see this shit. This shit is... Oh, let me turn my light up. That's the problem. This shit is ridiculous. Like... Do you see the motherfucking times on this shit? Four, five, four, five. Bitch, how you send four messages all at the same fucking time? Like, nobody's responding to you, bitch. Your whole fucking real world revolves around, old girl. Like, now you dick eating? Like, fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about, miss? Nobody responds to you, boo boo. 1245. How the fuck? I swear, I need this shit to be clear. Babe, figure out a way where I could show this fucking time. This shit is the same time for three fucking messages. A bitch ain't got time to fucking response. I'm gonna figure out how to get this shit. Y'all gonna see this shit today. Bitch, or like post all of them. Bitch, you're absolutely right. Bitch said one thing. Bitch said one dumb shit. Like, oh, like, I feel like. Oh, for all the So. These are, how do I get this clear? Fuck out of here. This is like weird. Okay, so these are the messages. I haven't been booked in a long time. I don't have money for bills or studio or anything. Are y'all ready to see the time on the shit? You know what? Brian's here. Hold on a second. I can get some assistance. I can't get no assistance from nobody gonna help me, so I have to go get another hand. Oh, for God, I'm running out. I'm not doing anything. I'm chilling. Why then? Hey, could you hold this for me? Are you against it? You against it? Papa's against it. I just need to show somebody. I'd like, I want to know how somebody sends a message, all six messages, all at the exact same time. And they're not short messages. I'm going to set up a contraption so that you guys can see this. If it's the last, it's going to be the last thing I do tonight. Then I'm going to bed because I have a long day tomorrow. Even though it's Sunday, I have a busy, busy day tomorrow. But every now and then, you have to slay somebody because people don't respect anything but disrespect, unfortunately. If Peter Piper pecked them, I bet you really deaf them. I told you not to touch him. It's not up for discussion. Yeah, I'm lit. I think I'm lit. Where's the camera? It begins. Now, nigga. You just don't want to help me?
I'm sorry, guys. Can I just... Oh, I'm sorry, guys, who can't hear Act like, you know, oh, I can't... I say I fucking single-handedly did anything, but I know I fucking contributed, and that's all that fucking matters. I don't got to do anything. I could have sat on my motherfucking high horse, regardless of who motherfucking song y'all think it was. I know what my motherfucking paycheck say. I know what my royalty say. I could have sat there and be like, up, oh, I got my two Grammy nominations. Up, oh, I got my best female artist of the year award. I got a gold song. I got a double platinum song. Close the door. Fuck you, bitches. Nah, I ain't do that. I always said, if I get in, I'm opening the door and I'm putting the fucking door stopper under it. That's it. And I saw. Don't fucking say nothing to me. Nothing, no things. That's what nothing is. Nothing is a word. It should be no things. Don't say no things to me at all. Don't fucking sub me. Don't at me. Don't nothing. And all these little dumbass bitches that's sitting there liking shit. I got y'all fucking messages too. Cornball. And, and if any of your fucking, if any of your faves got a fucking pedophile brother that's in fucking jail. Get the fuck off my page. Don't say nothing to me because I let that slide too. I could have went in and took the opportunity to buy. Well, after Remy exposed Azalea Banks, you, you can tell, man, how easily, like I said, that's why I'm saying Nicki Minaj fans, you know, she got adult fans here and there. Most of her fans are kids, man, because they are so easily persuaded. After Remy um, went ahead and exposed Azalea Banks, next thing you know, the same fans that were on her, you know, pictures, yes, queen, we can't wait for the collaboration, all this stuff. Now they're back, turning it back on her, going in on her and all of that. So, you know, after Remy, you know, reveal those messages and all of that, Azalea then went back and changed her entire caption. She changed her entire caption of what she wrote initially. I'm still managed to throw Nikki name in there you know here and there but she changed her entire caption and i'm going to just go ahead and put it in the, on the screen and let you guys read what i talk if my talking is distracting you then just you know put me on mute or put the video on hold and read you know in the background but if i keep putting it on pause and not talking and letting the music play this video is going to be longer than i want it to be so <laughs> i'm not going to do that anymore but yeah so this is a new caption and then in as much as people were going in on her and just saying to her, you know, you need to focus on your music, this is terrible, what is wrong with you, and all of that, because they read the part about her not being able to pay for her psychiatrist and, you know, and, and all of the things that she's going through, now people are starting to have empathy, like, oh, you know, Ram, why are you going to expose her like that? You know, she's mentally ill. Mental illness is not something to joke about all of that. But it's almost like, you know, this is not her first time. But, but yeah, as she read the messages, basically Azalea said that I'm about to use Nikki the way how she uses people. I'm going to make sure all of her fans come on my side and all of that and then I'm going to use her and that so that was her plan all along I'm going to behave like you know I'm this fan of Nicki Minaj and then just to use her fans now people kept saying all oh, these messages are from 2016 you know Azalea have apologized in 2017 and she since apologized to Nikki and she and Nikki you know made up via social media and they've moved on so people need to move and all of that but before Remy went there, um, people were just believing everything. So, you know, my thing is, yeah, it's just too much, man. And it's just unnecessary BS. And in as much as, you know, people are saying, listen, don't use your mental illness when, it, when it's convenient. You know, don't go ahead and do things that are destructive and then come back and blame it on an illness, you know. But I really do hope that Azalea Banks seeks help because it's not healthy to constantly go through all of this because, I mean, eventually it's not going to end well. She did write in those, uh, in those messages to Remy that she suffered from depression and all of that. So I, with all jokes and all the stuff aside, 
and there were never jokes in there for me but people that were clowning on social media like these messages here of people you know just saying you know going in the zillia um all of that aside i really do hope this young lady you know seek help I, I really do hope that she seek help and for the people who are saying oh this just proved that you know remy sit around all day and chat about nikki i didn't see her chatting nothing Azalea was having a conversation by herself and Remy, the, the two things that Remy even wrote addressing Nikki was about Nikki taking the high road and Azalea focusing on her career and ignoring anything that Nikki or anybody else have to say. That's the only things that I saw. It was no gossiping and dragging Nikki because trust me, if Azalea had those messages, they would have been up instantly and if she conditions to rem on everything that she's doing you know vince is a new manager remy is out here looking amazing and all of that and yep <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end it here my vina loves i'm wishing you all an amazing day remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless